Why, hello there. Welcome back to Ellie Noir Episode 5, Part 2. And if you're just joining us, we're going to be going to Bishop's apartment. Where's my car? There it is. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he's done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at the problem. I think it may take a left here. Left. Oh god! What did you make of the kid? <laughs> made it. He was dumped out of a tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill him? Oh god. Are you dead? No, you're cool. I think the worst thing about me driving in this game is that I keep looking down at the map and not at the actual screen. My car okay? Yeah, it's fine. Gun it. Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. I'm trying to. You need to take the next left. Oh crap! Oh, sorry, car. I mean, bench. Thanks. I discovered discovered a landmark. I don't really care right now. Yeah. Hoo, 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 hoo. You the cops? Boom. I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Alright, we're gonna go as fast as possible. Cole, you seem very worried. Hysterical female witnesses. Let's go. Boom. Give it up, LAPD. I'm about to play the goddamn. All right. Forget how to fight. You really want to dance? I curse you and your children. You shouldn't have tangled with me, friend. I. Oh, there we go. Got nice it. Morning. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes, yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll, I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes, thank you. All right, there's going to be a lot of clues in here, but a lot of them aren't necessary to the case. So the first one is the twenty thousand dollar check, which is the in the room closest to the bedroom. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? And that's it for this room. Next is the saddle against the hallway. Right here. It's a saddle. Presented to Mark. I won't say that out loud. Oh, uh, what's next? Next is the movie set replica in the room next to the saddle. Doesn't it look fancy like? Wall of Babylon. 
a replica of a replica. Next is the movie set photo in the same room. If I can find it. Oh my god. Well, there's money right here. It has nothing to do with it. And then there's some... Uh, it's in here. Where is it? Oh, found it. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Uh... What else is it? Then there is the prop store... Prop store photography. In the living room. Living room is right here. Why won't you let me pick up anything? Optimistic call. Uh, that's not it. Just give me a second to think. Found it. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopkins. They work together on occasion. That's Hopkins' shop. Oh, okay then, we're gonna go to the... There's one last thing. You can see the set is right there. Edward's own little piece of Babylon. It doesn't really pertain to the case, but... I think it's pretty cool. Alright, first we're gonna do the domestic Those disturbance. Men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Uh, you want to doubt? June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> Next, you want to ask about the whereabouts Where of Bishop? Where did you find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Uh, she's telling the truth. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Then you want to ask about the check of $20,000? Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? She's a liar. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Uh, you want to go down to the $20,000 check? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. And now the abuse of Jessica... Your husband Hamilton. was casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Uh, you want to doubt? Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. 
This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. I'm just going to use the telephone really quick. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. All right, so we're going to go to silver screen props now. I want my hat. Do, do, do. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife, will finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Running, 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 running. Silver screen props. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. <laughs> you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in. Okay, let's go. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad. Nothing between them. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Turn right. Any unit able to handle citizen reports of 211 in progress. 437 East 8th Street. Unit to handle code 3 identify. Oh god! Never mind. There's no one on the road. Never mind, I lied. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Mermaid. Alright, there's also gonna be a bunch of stuff in here that you don't need. Grizzly Bear. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. <clears throat> There's this mirror right here. 
Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Camera. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. You'll see. You'll see w what's on the other side. Well, well. Find a Eat way me. to that peep tent, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert. Tent. I don't know what it will. There's some shrunken heads. Doesn't really do anything. There's a uh, chloral hydrate. If you don't remember that, that was found in Jessica Hamilton's uh, blood. Wrong with these people. Bloodstream. Dr. Stone Man. Um. Next is the shrunken head mold. That's uh, outside in the back of the building. I'll go there now. Now, to the people out there, does this look real to you? Hmm. Shouldn't. Face. Uh, it's just a bottle. Kick! Now there's a sword that doesn't matter. And I can't read it from here, but it's Jungle Drums. Mark Bishops. Francisco. Jungle Drums. Mark Bishop. Can I open it? I don't think so. There's Jessica Hamilton's. And there's nothing in there. No that's nothing. Uh, wait. Dirty guy looking into the bathroom. And this is on set stuff. Um, let me think. I'm trying to find that that sh uh, shrunken head mold. I think I know where to go now. Kick. Open. This way. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Where's the stupid shrunken head? Shrunken head mold. I don't say Locked door. Sorry if it's taking too long. I just can't. Joe, stop committing Harry Carry. I feel something. So this is where you sprang from. And that looks exactly like this one, but black. All right, so we're gonna speak to Bishop now. Where is he? There you are. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. 
Now, since I'm going to try to go for an achievement really quick, it's to you. It's to just uh, use four intuition points in one uh, interview to to just to branch everything together. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Uh, next is the whereabouts of Bishop. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Uh, he's telling the truth. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Next, the relationship with Ballard. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Uh, she... I mean, he is lying. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. You also want to go back down to the... Empty film canister. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. And now the evidence of blackmail. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Uh, I'm gonna use my intuition points. Remove answer. He is a dirty, dirty Enough liar. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Anyone in this game with a bow tie is a liar. Because you want to hit blackmail. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the... The hunch is the achievement I was talking about. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today, by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. 
Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, this smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. I don't think it's enough! No, we're gonna end it right here. I know we're getting to the exciting part. Oh god. But, see you next episode. I need to be closer, Cole. They really don't want anybody getting the mission before they do. Hey. Oh god, they're shooting at me. Can't. Lay into his wheel, Archie. Come on. Keep it steady. I'll try and bust his tires. Oh god. We need to lose those fools though. I'll explain that achievement in a little bit. Shot from here, Cole. Shoot at him. Shoot at them. Either give me a good shot or get us the hell out of here. Boom! Let's get out of here. I like how my car just revi like revived all its wounds. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey... We're getting to the final end of this part. Look out! Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop All right, we're gonna I have a good mind come back to, let go to, to the very end. I'm about done See you next...